New York's annual Asia Week kicks off on Thursday. The 10-day festival brings together the world's leading collectors and dealers of Asian art. CCTV's Karina Huber reports on expectations for this year and the impact China's economic slowdown is having on the market. Welcome. I'd like to show you the finest pieces, actually the rarest objects in the show. These are pieces which came to me from the family of a collector who bought them more than 100 years ago. Gallery owner James Lally shows off a jade song, a mysterious artifact dating from between 3300 to 2250 B.C. Part of what makes the Neolithic vessel so valuable is its scratched emblem. So it's one of the earliest examples of what might be called writing in China. The object is one of many ancient Chinese jade pieces up for grabs at Lally's gallery. Prices range from $1,000 to $600,000. In this particular catalog, 50% of the sales will go to mainland Chinese, Hong Kong Chinese, Taiwan Chinese, and 50% will go to Americans and Europeans. A week before the official launch of Asia Week New York, Lally says more than half of the objects were already pre-sold. Over at Kapoor Galleries, several items were also pre-sold. We, as a gallery, tend to do about 60 to 70 percent of our business in this 10-day period, either leading up to it or actually during the 10-day period when we meet clients. The gallery specializes in Himalayan art and has a sizable number of Chinese buyers. According to Lark Mason, Asia Week New York is the world's largest celebration of Asian art. While Chinese and Japanese works dominate, there are pieces from all over the region. Asia Week is important because it brings people together who otherwise would not come together. And when we say people, who are we referring to? The best dealers, the top galleries, museums, curators, private collectors. And of course, the major auction houses like Christie's, which will be offering more than 700 works, including Imperial Ming and Qing Dynasty porcelains, Chinese paintings, and bronze Buddhist sculptures. Christie's will have eight sales, including pieces from the Dongji Studio Collection and the collection of Guy and Marie-Hélène Weil. One of the highlights is this early 11th century bronze figure from Western Tibet. Many of the buyers at this year's Asia Week are expected to be Chinese, buyers who have helped fuel the Asian art market in recent years. But with the economic slowdown in China, demand is expected to be more subdued. We're confident that this sale is going to do well, but I would say it certainly the mood is more cautious and selective than it would have been a year ago. It's not as uh, fervent as it was before, I guess. So definitely we've all felt a bit of a slowdown um, because it trickles down to us no matter what. Experts say the high-end market won't likely feel the pinch, but the mid-range market, where items sell for between $20,000 and $90,000, could be affected. There's always an impact, you know, when there is an economic downturn or the, there's economic euphoria that, that has some impact. There's no question. The question is how dramatic that impact will be. New York's Asia Week will make the perfect laboratory to find that out. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.